As you can see between Dash during the anthem and Dash during the newsreel, cinema going has become a rather Dash experience these days. So again we have five options. I think these, these four were the questions asked in the daily test. So going forward we'll have a little more complex ones. So take a look at this and tell me what you think. This is an easy one because you just have to apply a little bit of logic, right? For the first three, we applied collocations, we applied word class, right? This, this particular blank, I need a adjective form, I need a noun form, blah, blah, blah. So here, just applying pure logic, we know that what do you do during the anthem, the national anthem? Reputing, standing, spending, character, erecting. As you can see, between dash during the anthem and dash during the newsreel. So both these, if you notice, uh, there's a parallel construction, right? I have the conjunction and. So I'm doing something during the anthem and I'm doing something during the newsreel. Both I need action verbs. Cinema going has become a rather dash experience. So here experience is my noun. I need an adjective here, right? Both these verbs I need, both these blanks I need verb. So just applying logic itself, I know it has to be option two. You stand during the anthem. Squirming. Squirming means what? What is squirming? To squirm. Squirm means you're feeling a little uncomfortable, right? Either because you're embarrassed or some sort of a discomfort, right? You're not enjoying the experience. Yeah. Shifting, uh, feeling discomfort, uncomfortable. So you're either fidgeting or shifting or moving, right? So as a result of you being uncomfortable or discomfort or embarrassed or whatever, you're shifting or you're fidgeting, right? All of these twisting and turning. Yes. Cinema going has become a rather fraught. What's the meaning of fraught? It's not an enjoyable experience, right? It's, it's, I immediately know that it's a negative word because a context is giving me a negative meaning. So either, you know, you're either tensed, right? Or you're anxious because, you know, you, everybody's doing that. So you also need to do that. So you're not looking forward to it. You know, you're very tensed. Yeah. So obviously the answer is two. Let's move on. Okay. So let's look at this. Dostoevsky's charters are rarely dash. Okay. I think it's a typo here. Must be characters. I'm looking at this here. Okay. Are rarely dash. Okay. So let's look at it. In one chapter, a given character may hardly take part in dialogue, often retreating dash to a corner of the room. A few chapters later, that same character will be prone to bouts of dash, during which time he or she will speak in a ceaseless manner bordering on hysteria. Okay. So here, uh, we'll have to pay attention to the context as such. Now let's understand the context first. Okay. Quickly. So there's some sort of a uh, contrast here, right? In one chapter, a given character may hardly take part in dialogue, often retreat. So this person, this uh, first character is not talking at all. Hardly take part in dialogue, often retreating dash to a corner of the room. So not talking, right? The first character. A few chapters later, that same character will be prone to bouts of dash, during which time he or she will speak in a ceaseless manner. So this is continuous talking, rambling. So, which means we, I need to choose words in this blank, which are contrast in meaning, obviously, right? That's one. So, characters are rarely poor. So, it's showing some sort of instability, right? If I look at the options, I need a negative word here, right? Are you following? Hysteria, hysterical. Somebody is hysterical means what? They've gone mad, right? They are expressing some sort of a uncontrollable emotion, right? Are you following? That person is behaving hysterically. If somebody says that, which means that person is uncontrollable. They just lost their, lost their senses. They don't know what they're doing. They are unable to control their emotions. Right? That's what hysteria is. Anyway, now let's get back on track. So, which means, rarely means hardly. I need a negative word. It cannot be amiable, right? Ah, so, amiable is a positive word. Forthright means uh, being very true and that's also a positive word. So, I can easily eliminate option 1, 4 and 5. Okay, let's look at 2 and 3. Stable is correct. Okay, so now let's look at it. Ca characters are rarely stable. So, stable is fine. Now, we have to choose between sullenly, docilely, logaria, dementia. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Sullenly means somebody who is, you know, sulking, becoming extremely silent, right? Because they are not feeling alright, okay? Like mentally. So, that's uh, docile, docile, docile means 
somebody who is very you know easy to manipulate somebody who is docile that person you know you can easily control them very submissive they are okay so here let's look at it in one chapter a given character may hardly take part in dialogue often retreating are we talking about submission here or are we talking about somebody who is just sulking and morose or broody let's keep that in the parking lot right third blank the other blank is saying hey this person is continuously talking non stop going on talking now logaria for those who don't know which means actually excessive use of words that's the meaning if you didn't know that right and what is dementia is just the opposite right dementia means loss of communication loss of memory right and even concentration so it's just the opposite right so obviously out of 2 and 3 it has to be 2 suddenly is a more effective word in the context and anyway logaria is the right word right because it means excessive use of words and the context is saying that this person speaks will speak in a ceaseless manner bordering on hysteria right so if you notice this this is a slightly complicated one only because you are not familiar with the meanings of the words right slightly complicated that's why i said if at all you feel that a particular context is complex or complicated that's only because you are not familiar with the words and their meanings for example even if you want to choose between 2 and 3 if you are familiar with logaria you know for a fact that that has to be the answer otherwise also dementia is not a very complicated word right dementia you should have read about this word dementia means loss of concentration loss of communication it's contradicting what the context is saying which is she will speak in a ceaseless manner bordering are you following that's a collocation by itself this expression prone to bouts of something prone to means inclined to likely right bouts of either you can have somebody who is you know bouts of crying or laughing it can be anything bouts of doing something right it can be laughter crying any particular activity intense activity are you following dementia is basically your that's the last bit in fact i would say uh, dementia and hysteria are pretty much synonyms and that can be another clue for you to leave out dementia right it says this person is getting into this bouts of something which is leading to this dementia is loss of communication memory concentration which is contradicting our phrase which is saying she will speak in a ceaseless manner how can somebody who is not able to speak losing their memory and concentration speak in a ceaseless manner right that's what i'm saying the closest option will be option 2 let's look at the next one although he was finally dash the years of dash tore apart his social circle ruined his health and dash his mind so here again looking at the context simply right let's quickly look at the context although he was so your clue word immediately although contrast clue word although he was finally something right so which means i need a contrast words although he was finally something the years of dash tore apart his social circle ruined his so tore apart ruined his health so the next context right after this comma the remaining of the sentence is definitely needing me what negative words i need a negative word i need a negative word in both these blanks so although he was finally something right the years of dash ruined his health and dashes mind so let's look at our options so i have incriminated incriminated vindicated acclaimed vindicated vindicated uh, out of the five options three vindicated is three three options are vindicated incriminated means to accuse somebody that they did something wrong right so that's not the word because i have although eliminate vindicated might be the right option because vindicated means to somebody who is cleared of some sort of a blame or wrong doing right vindicate to vindicate someone means to clear them to clear off wrong doing so although he was finally vindicated acclaimed also is a positive word can't have that right uh, then we only have to choose between 2 4 and 5 so i have 2 has self doubt 4 and 5 has suspicion suspicion and then 2 has deranged mellowed and deranged okay so quickly again because ruined his health and dash his mind it cannot be mellowed 
right mellow is not the right word deranged would be the most appropriate word deranged means mentally unsound this person becomes you know that's the right word so i can quickly eliminate option 4 also so between 2 and 5 uh, we only have to choose between this these two words right now it says tore apart his social circle so what tore apart his social circle the years of self doubt or the years of suspicion that's what we need to figure out self doubt is not trusting yourself but his social circle which means others though this person was cleared of wrong doing or blame right others did not always suspect this person that's how it works right if somebody goes to jail and comes the rest of the community will still not accept him because they always suspect this person to fall back or do something which is wrong again are you following so the more effective word would be suspicion actually mellowed somebody asked what mellowed is mellowed actually means um, how what can i say like becoming less harsh right you need to mellow down if somebody says that to me which means i need to kind of relax right mellow again has different meanings in different contexts the example that i share if somebody says hey silvia you need to mellow down which means you need to calm down you need to relax that's one way of looking at it but usually it's like becoming less harsh right or in the context that i shared the meaning is you know calm down relax that's the meaning of mellow anyway not the right word in our context so the answer is option 5 Although he was finally vindicated, the years of suspicion tore apart his social circle, ruined his health, and deranged his mind.